Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we'll be creating this tiered wood shelf inspired by a piece that I saw online for $124. Now I thought that this shelf had a really rustic look and could be used in so many ways. Now I was able to recreate this for less than $10 and I've provided the complete list of supplies and tools that I used to make this project in the description box below. Now, I'm so very excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I'll have to say hey, hey, and welcome back to my awesome subscribers and visitors to my channel. Now, if you are a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into this project. Now here is my inspiration for this project today. Now this shelving piece caught my eye with the beautiful wood slat assembly and that warm and cozy look. Now I had been looking for a shelf for my bath so I decided to recreate this since I didn't want to pay that hefty $124 price tag. Now I designed my own version to fit the items I wanted to display and I'll be showing you all of the measurements and step-by-step -step assembly for this project. Now we're gonna need five of these one by twos from the Home Depot, and they are really inexpensive at only $1.54 each. And we'll also need one plunger from the Dollar Tree. Now we're gonna cut our wood and we'll need eight pieces, and we're gonna cut these at 23 and a half inches. We're also gonna cut 12 pieces, and these are gonna be cut at 15 inches. And we're gonna cut four pieces at six inches. Now as an alternative, you can use a one one by six and you can cut two pieces at 23 and a half inches and you can cut three pieces at 15 inches and you'll also need to cut four one by two pieces at six inches. Now this version is about $3 more and it's slightly smaller shelves than the first version but it has less cuts. So now we're going to move on to stain. I'm going to be staining with my Jacobian Min Wax stain and you can also paint but I wouldn't paint until the shelf is fully assembled. So I'm gonna start staining my pieces and you wanna stain the entire wood piece, including the front, back, sides, and also both of the ends. And then you wanna check each piece, make sure it's fully stained and ready to go and continue to stain the rest of those six inch pieces. So now we're gonna move on to those next pieces and we're gonna stain all of those as well. Now these are all of my 15 inch pieces and they are all stained and good to go. And then finally we are going to stain our 23 and a half inch pieces as well. Now and don't forget we are going to stain our plunger handle so remove that and the tag and stain that as well. Now you want to let these completely dry. Now once they are dry, we're gonna start working with those 23 and a half inch wood pieces. We're gonna separate out four of these and each one of these four piece sections will be the side of our cabinet. So we wanna stack them on top of each other and we're gonna make sure they're even by using this carpenter square that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now once they are nice and even, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna be using my SureBonder wood stick glue sticks. I'm gonna be bonding each one of these in between them, just placing a dot every two or three inches along the side and pressing the pieces together. Now this is gonna be my temporary bond to hold these together while I work. And you can use wood glue, but it does take a little bit more time, but it's completely up to you. So you're gonna to continue to add the dots of that wood stick hot glue in between the pieces, pressing them together as you go, and making sure those ends are nice and even. Now you don't wanna use a whole lot of wood glue here because you do not want it seeping out through the seams. So once that glue is bonded within about 10 seconds, you'll see you'll have this solid wood plank and this will be one of your sides and you wanna repeat this for the other four pieces. And so now you have all four of your pieces together for both sides of your shelving unit. So now we're gonna take those six inch pieces and these will be bonded on the inside edge of the shelf and we'll place one on each end as an accent. So again, I'm gonna take my wood stick hot glue, I'm gonna place a dot of that hot glue along the edge and then line up that six inch piece along each one of the ends. Now 
And this is what one piece looks like with both pieces adhered. And we're just going to repeat this for that second piece. And now both of our side pieces are done with all of those extra in pieces. So now we're going to start to work on our 15 inch pieces. Now these pieces will be used for our shelves. Now each one of our shelves will have four pieces of the wood. So go ahead and separate them into groups of four. Now we're going to take our first group of four and we are going to line them up just like we did the sides of our shelves. We're going to use our carpenter square to make sure they're even and we are going to glue them in between just like we did before. And after being glued, this is what one of the shelves looks like. And just repeat this for the other two shelves. And now we have all three of our shelves ready to go. So now we're going to take our sides of our shelves and we're going to determine the placement of each one of our shelves. So I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure up three inches from the bottom edge and I'm going to place a mark there. Now from that three inch mark, I'm gonna measure out another 10 inches and I'm gonna place a mark at the 10 inch mark. Then on the opposite end of the shelf, I'm again gonna measure in at three inches and I'm gonna make a mark there. So now we have all three of our marks in place. Now all I'm gonna do is take my second piece and I'm gonna place it against it and I'm just gonna transfer those markings exactly where I made them and this will make sure that everything stays nice and even. So now we are gonna mark our line on the side of our shelves for our uh, shelf placement. So I'm gonna be using this painter's tape. Now I'm just gonna run the painter's tape in between those marks and I just wanna make sure it is nice and even. You wanna repeat this for your first three inch mark, your 10 inch mark, and also the three inch mark on the other side. So once all your tape is in place, double check those measurements. So I'm making sure that it's three inches from the bottom up to the edge of the tape at the bottom. The middle from each end of the tape to each end is 10 inches. And then at the end from the end to the top of the tape is also three inches. Measure twice, you guys. So now you wanna take your second piece and do the same thing. And you do wanna make sure they're all lined up and nice and even. So now we are going to start screwing these together. So I am going to be using some one and a quarter inch wood screws to secure the shelves together for this unit. So what I'm going to do is turn it over to the inside of the shelf, making note of where those tape marks are. Now I do want to just take the edge of my shelf and I want to line it up where the tape marks line up with the edge of the shelf. And to temporarily adhere it, I'm going to add a bead of that wood stick hot glue to the edge. And then I'm going to place it on the inner part of the shelf, making sure each end lines up with the tape on the opposite side. So then you want to take your two remaining shelves and line it up with the middle and the last shelves. So now that these are temporarily nice and bonded, we can actually start securing them into place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tape as a guide to add my screw holes. So I'm going to take my drill and I want to eyeball it and make sure that my drill is going directly into the wood plank. I'm going to drill a hole in each one of those planks going through to my shelf. Now once your holes are drilled, go ahead and remove that tape because you no longer need it. And we can start inserting our one and a quarter inch wood screws into the side. And here's my shelf with all four of those wood screws into place. And now you just want to repeat this for the top and the bottom shelves as well. And now all our wood screws on one side are completely inserted into the shelf. And now that that side is nice and secure, go ahead and flip it over. And we are going to add the other side of the shelf the very same way. First of all, gluing into place, adding those pilot holes and drawing, drilling <laughs> those screws into place. And now both sides both have those wood screws into place and your shelf should be nice and secure. So 
So now what we're gonna do is go to the bottom of the shelf and we are going to add our towel bar. So I'm gonna take my dowel and I wanna measure the distance between those inside six inch wood planks to place it in. Now when you get that exact measurement, you cut just a little bit um, larger than that because you do want it to fit nice and snug in between. So I'm gonna place this bar even with that second plank down and it should fit snugly into place. Now once it's nice and snug, you can go ahead and start securing it permanently. So I'm gonna drill a hole through the side of the shelf and make sure it goes all the way into the dowel. And then just take a two inch wood screw and we're going to insert this into the side and we are inserting these. Um, we're gonna use a longer one here because it does have to go through a couple layers of wood to get to that dowel and then repeat this on the other side. So now our dowel is nice and secure into place and we can use this for our towels. Now to hang this, you can use some of these sawtooth hangers or you can use some of these D-ring hangers. I actually prefer the D-ring hangers. I think they are um, more for a heavy duty application and um, I think they do have a weight um, capacity of about 25, 30 pounds, but you can choose whichever method that you like and these just simply screw into place and I'm just screwing them right above that top shelf. Now if you want to hide your screws, I'm just going to take some of this chocolate brown acrylic paint and some of this black acrylic paint and I'm going to mix and blend them together until I get a color close to my Jacobian stain. And then once my paint is all blended, I am just gonna take a fine tipped paintbrush. I wanna dab this on top of the screw hole and inside those grooves to make sure it's nice and covered. Now I do wanna put two layers, making sure that it dries in between both layers. And once those are completely dry, you want to uh, make sure you do this on both sides. And now you can decorate your shelf when it's all dry. And here is my shelving unit all hung up and decorated for my bathroom space. Now I just love how amazing this turned out. Now by adding a few accessories, this unit becomes such a great showpiece and there's plenty of room for all of your necessities. Now for the taller shelf, I placed my tissue paper and vases. And the shorter one I used for my battery candle, washcloths, and more decor. And this top shelf was perfect for my labeled jars. Now I think that this white with the wood feels so spa-like to me and I really love it. And even though this wood was so inexpensive, the stain really does bring out the beautiful texture. Now I think this would be a perfect guest or even main bathroom shelf, but you don't have to limit its use just to the bathroom. Now how about making this into a coffee bar? Now I absolutely love this idea for this shelf as well. Now all you have to do is place all of your coffee or cocoa favorites on these shelves for a great one-stop coffee bar. Now I added some hanging baskets for my K-cups to the towel bar. I placed some mugs that are ready to go and I added my condiments. And you can't forget the to-go cups when you're on the go. Now this is a great one-stop station to get your coffee or cocoa fix. Now you can also use this as a kitchen shelf as well to display a variety of ready to use items. Now I simply placed a couple of hand towels along with some dry goods in mason jars. And I also have a shelf with lots of seasonings and spices ready to grab. Now for the top, I just placed a few ramekins and some plant decor to top it all off. Now I think this is a great idea as well. Now, if you need more space, you can also add another shelf to the top. All you have to do is cut four pieces of a one by two to 18 and a half inches. 
And all you have to do after that is just stain and glue just like we did before. And now you have this solid top piece. Now you can sit this right on the top of the unit or you can screw it in. It's your choice. So now that I've shown you so many ways to decorate, what are your ideas to decorate this blank canvas? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Listen, if you love DIYs on a budget, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure that you're following She's So Crafty EE on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Now, if you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below or just click on my She's So Crafty logo on your screen and hit that bell to be notified when the next DIY goes live. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.